Hey YouTube, this is Sean with an update on Project Fowler. So I haven't really filmed many updates on this aquarium, uh, but this is one of my first uh, saltwater reefs. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. <clears throat> what it is, it's an Aquion C that I got for real cheap at PetSmart on uh, Black Friday last November. And I purchased this aquarium not realizing uh, the big difference between a saltwater and a freshwater aquarium. So my intention, which I followed through with, was to make this a saltwater. And as you can see so far, um, I've had some success uh, with raising some healthy fish. Some of these I rescued. This is a maroon clown with a uh, an enemy. The anemone is kind of retracted right now, but this anemone is actually very healthy. Uh, it was fully opened earlier, and I've got some rescued uh, yellow tangs in there. A hippo tang that was rescued, <clears throat> and I've got uh, some other fish. I've got a Picasso trigger. Her name's Kiki and I got some other things going on in the aquarium right now so this is a 125 gallon Aquion that I got for $325 on um, Black Friday and so a couple things I've done to change the aquarium I got some used lights real real good deal um, some nice LEDs blue and white there to marine land um, I think advanced LEDs and uh, they provide great lighting for this aquarium and one of the things that's been happening is a lot of algae uh, growth I'm getting a lot of cyano algae either as a result of the lighting or as a result of some uh, sienna algae or cyano algae that came into contact with some of the rocks uh, that I had put in here so uh, I'm going to be doing a treatment to that shortly and I'll uh, most likely document that by live streaming um, the aquarium while I'm gone. Uh, it takes about 48 hours uh, worth of treatment. And the method I'm going to use is uh, ChemiClean. So it gets uh, rid of the red cyanobacteria that I'm experiencing right now. And this is recommended to me by my friend John at Petco. So, <clears throat> just to uh, give you an update on a couple things. I've got some uh, Hydra Coralia um, power heads. They're running uh, 1500 GPH each. And the filtration right now is uh, done by two Fluval 306s. Now, this has worked great so far, uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to put the treatment in the canisters. I'm going to put, um, I think I need 12 scoops, so I'm going to put uh, 6 scoops in each. And <clears throat> another thing I've been doing is I, I, I inherited some equipment from my buddy Gary. Uh, he had some stuff clogging up his garage, so he wanted to get rid of it. So one of the items I got was uh, Aquasi uh, Remora. It's a pretty old uh, skimmer. It's a hang on back. And I've got a pump that's kind of overpowered running it right now, which is good uh, because it is kind of cleaning this thing out uh, that's been sitting in the garage for a little while. And um, I did do a uh, thorough wash as best as I could, but I think some of the uh, needles were clogged. So uh, let me show you some of the skimmate that's being pulled from this thing. Uh, I got to use rubber bands because it's missing the gasket. So the skimmate that's being pulled out is pretty good. And, um, you know, I've learned the importance of a skimmer as a result of some other aquariums I've done. Um, most notably Project Nano which has a mini skimmer and also uh, I've got Project Cubo over here in the same room 
uh, which has its own sump. Which brings it me to my next topic. So um, this aquarium is being skimmed by a um, SC302 skimmer. And I got it dialed in pretty good and it's getting some nice nasty skimmate from it. I've got some uh, rocks back there in the infusium and I've got a return pump. And I've got some algae uh, growing in this sump. So uh, what I want to show you guys next is uh, one of the biggest upgrades I'm going to be doing to Project Fowler because I intend on having um, some better uh, salt water results from this aquarium as you can see uh, it's never been skimmed so uh, there's probably a lot of uh, junk in here in just uh, five six months about five months the, the aquarium been, has been up and running so we're gonna walk through uh, don't mind the mess and um, another thing I received from Gary that was taking up room in his garage was a 55 gallon sump. Now in his sump, I uh, already taken out the glass, uh, but in his sump he had put in um, three pieces of glass that he just, he wasn't happy with the way it um, was installed. So he kind of just, he got away from this and gave up on this project. Uh, so what this is, is it's an Aquion, 55 gallon um, 48 by 13 by 20 and so I've designed my own um, baffles I took out the baffles that were in there previously and so I'm going to start with the design so number six here is going to be pretty much almost all the way at the top and it's going to be an ATO container and um, I'm going to start on this side and on this side this is going to be the skimmer area and the skimmer area is going to have a bubble trap right afterwards so this will be elevated about an uh, inch and a half I'm going to use some um, 2 by 4s to help me out with that and uh, the third section is going to be a little bit lower so um, I think one and two are 15 inches by the width which is 11 and 7 8 of an inch 11 inches and a 7 8 of an inch to, to fit the uh, 12 inch 12 inch opening with some room for uh, some um, silicone excuse me I'm going to be using uh, DAP silicone from Home Depot this is a uh, some aquarium safe stuff. Let me get some focus on that. So this is aquarium safe and it can be had from Home Depot. And what you'll see here in this next section is an idea that I got from um, some videos on YouTube. I uh, love YouTube because uh, there's some ideas there that are incredible. Um, things that I wouldn't have thought of on my own or uh, even with the tutelage of my buddy Gary. So, um, you know, one of the um, things I've seen on YouTube is uh, someone created a sump where um, after the bubble trap, or I don't know if it was on the, after the bubble trap on his, but he used the um, fluorescent light diffusers from Home Depot to make a tray and so this is going to act as a media tray um, where um, you can put chemicure blue or um, things of that nature maybe some filter floss so that's going to be one difference between that uh, this is going to be a refugium and I'm running out of time on my um, this current video so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close it out and this uh, refugium is going to feature miracle mode so um, check back for more updates 